can you give us a sense about what role sustainable architecture or just architects play uh, in, in developing a more sustainable society and, and economy? Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's huge because 30% uh, of the CO2 that goes to the atmosphere comes from, from architecture or, or, and buildings. And one third of, of the materials that do extract from the planet, they come from, from they, they end up being architecture. So I, I really believe that if you want to have a, so, a sustainable society, you, you must have the architects and, and whoever is involved in this industry, you must have them involved in this, in this uh, sustainable way of thinking. And give us a sense about what your particular um, practice space does. Um, you're based in Mexico, but I'm sure you work in f further afield than that. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you do, having looked at your brochure. Give us a sense about the kinds of buildings that, that, that you design and what your, what your main principles are. Well, we, are, we have been focusing on corporate design. And uh, the idea from the beginning was that uh, 15 years ago, you had two options. If either you wanted to go with somebody that does really green design or nothing. I mean, there, there were nothing in the, in the middle. <coughs> so what we decided to do was to put together a methodology so we can, we can do every single project that we do in a sustainable way. So it, it doesn't matter if the client has a budget or they want to do it or anything. I mean, they will, if they come with us, they will have a sustainable project anyway. And how do you piece all those bits together? Do you, do you work from the actual um, materials used in, in building right up to the design of a building to ensure that it is, um, I don't know, like a sort of a, a, a passive house concept where it's zero, zero carbon, zero energy? Well, we believe that uh, sustainability is mainly a design problem. I mean, we have been designing things in a very different way as nature will have designed the, those things. So what the, the, we start with the design and then we, we, we build on with materials and sustainable solutions to, to, to save energy and water and stuff like that. And we, we try to make it a cohesive uh, uh, way of designing from the beginning to the, to the end. So we go through concepts on the design up to materials and, and finishes at the end. And can you give us a sense of any particular projects that you're, you're proud of or ones that you'd flag up in terms of being um, particularly uh, sustainable or efficient? Yes, we have two, two projects that are uh, completely different. One is the headquarters for BASF and that's a green certified, uh, very high uh, green certified building, a uh, major renovation and with all the technology that you can think of. And in the other hand we have a low cost uh, airline headquarters that we did that is Volaris. And basically what Volaris, we did it in, in, in a complete different way of sustainable. Uh, we decided to use practically garbage to, to build that, that office. So all the things that the, the airline didn't use, like wheels and seats and part of the plane that they don't use, we ended up using those as part of the, the, the new headquarters. So we built with those materials and, and we did the offices, 70% of the